everyone, welcome to Brick Break. I'm Aileen. And I'm John Langrish. Where are we? In Canada. Eh? Eh? <laughs> First in, in, in Vancouver, actually. Vancouver, Canada. Does that not count as Canada? It does. Okay, good. First international Brick Break. Hooray! In the Great White yeah. North. It's amazing. So thank you, John, for being on the show. Now, John, why do I have you here on Brick Break? Well, we're going to build a Technic set today. We are, time. but not just that, but like, why you? Why me? Well, Canadian, eh? <laughs> Thanks for visiting. You're an A-fool. I'm an A-fool, that's right. Or an A-fool, either of way you want to go. Adult hobbyist of Lego. See, a Canadian would never have said that. That's really Adult weird. hobbyist of Lego. Uh-huh. That's how it goes. A-hole. You don't have those? No. Oh. We have A-fools. <laughs> we have ales. What's an ale? Adult Lego enthusiast. Oh. How come we don't Ales, call that? Ales, favorite beverage of the A-fool as well. <laughs> ale. I always both, think both A-fool is a weird term. Well, some people, it used to be everyone wanted to say AFOL because it sounded better than AFOL. So it quick, said A-fall. quickly to the public, didn't sound so good. Yeah, AFOL. Like, A-fall. it's still not good. Yeah. Can we have something else? Ale. Okay. That's not really good either. Lego fan? Hmm. An LF. LF. <laughs> LF. So, you've been an AFOL for many years now. You've gone to many conventions. Yeah. You've built many things yep. in many genres. <laughs> but one thing that you enjoy building is Technic. Yes. And that is something I have not had a lot on Brick Break. As a matter of fact, I've had none on Brick Break. So, thanks to your recommendation. We have a Technic set. What are we going to build today? This is the, what's it called? The Arctic Trek. I was calling it the Snow Crawler. So this is, it is. It's a Snow Crawler. That's a Snow Crawler. Um, this one I thought was kind of cool because it has orange parts in it. So Technic sets are usually like yellow or like all the construction colors, whereas this was orange. So that's kind of new. That's what it's stood kinda, out to you about? Yeah, that's what stood out to me. And it's like not like these are always the mobile crane or the front end loader. This is something new. So that's why I wanted this set. This. So I'm pretty excited about it. So yeah. how big, what set number is this and how big is it? This is 42038 Arctic Truck with 913 pieces. 913 pieces? It's going to take us forever. Are, are we between the ages of 10 and 16? I, that might be advanced for us. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> this might not go well. I mean, it might I'm not look like this when we're done. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's quite possible. It's quite possible. Uh, if you'd like to start opening that, we, can, uh, we can keep chatting while you okay. rip open some So we batteries. could add power functions. Do, do we want to do that? No, we can do that. Okay, good. I'm not sure what they we would We can power. at least have the model. Built. So, that makes sense, in case you guys don't know. Would you like to describe sort of the difference between, you know, so system and technic? Almost all of this set will not have any like usual Lego studs on it. They'll all have like beams and pins that connect them, kinda of like old mechano or something. There'll be a very few pieces like the lights at the front will have like typical Lego pieces, but most of the connections won't be like what you'd find in like a creator or system set or something. Right. Like all the buildings behind us, for example. Oh, you mean these modular buildings? That's right. <laughs> um, so but let's see. Yeah? There's also some really cool things that you can get in Technic that you can't get in other parts. I mean obviously everything's interchangeable. But like you said, like the beams and all that stuff. But also like treads. Yeah, there's like these really cool tread pieces, which you'll see a bit later. And then like these large, I don't know, like curved panel pieces. So I know like space people like those. Um, yes, Technic is very good for space building. Yeah. So oh, the stickers. Oh no, we can't put okay. these on. High five, John. You guys may <laughs> Oh, that didn't go very well. That's you what guys... I think of stickers. May or may not recall from my previous trick breaks and toy briefs that I do not sticker my models except my Scooby Doo models. But I just I don't I want to reuse the parts. I don't like the way the stickers usually look, and I don't always necessarily put the sticker on straight. What's your reasoning? Um, well, first of all, the stickers. I mean, some people disagree with this, but it kind of forces that part to be that one part mm-hmm. in the future. But also, I think it's not a problem anymore. But it used to be the stickers after a couple of years would be like crack and peel, yes. and they were weird because they would all be like half peeled off. Yes. But they were still ultra, ultra sticky and would pretty much have ruined the part. All the shell never... stickers. Yeah, but all, all like the, um, like remember the original sock with camel? That was one yeah, that I remember yeah, yeah. had stickers. And those parts are pretty much ruined because they're so sticky. But ironically, the sticker would stick to them. Despite and you have being to like scrub the yeah, sticker yeah, yeah, off. Yeah. And some, some of the original UCS, the big like tile ones, those also did the same thing. Mm-hmm. Like, like my original Star Destroyer did that. It's like, well, that was kind of like a plaque to display it with. And now it's like cracked and unusable. Useless. Yeah. Exactly. So that's my major reason why I hate stickers. It's probably not really valid anymore. But... Do you want to know a surprising thing that I have stickers on from when I got it in 1999? And the stickers are still on it. What's that? And pretty good. Like, the blimp. 
Do you remember the blimp? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The stickers are still on the I had that too with stickers on it, probably somewhere. How did those stickers stay? Like, the rest of the stickers? I don't know, it's very strange. But the sock with camel is the one that comes to mind, but that was terrible. Mm -hmm. Now, Um, the question is, how are we going to do this? Well, there's no numbered bags. It looks like... So, I think we have to open all the bags all at once. And mix them together. Oh, so here's Tread. Look at this. Oh. You know what you can do with Tread? You make bracelets. Um, So, let's not open those yet. These be... You want to make, oh, make a bracelet? <laughs> you can do a little like how-to oh, video in the middle of how to make a bracelet. It's very complicated. <laughs> um, hey, it's a way to impress the ladies. The Lego bra- this is true. The Lego ladies. That elf set has those in like some weird like brown color. That's, like, light, that's medium, dark, those. flesh, and nougat or something color. Black goes with everything. Black is classic. This is very dark green <laughs> here too. So let's start opening the bag. Okay. What's in here? Oh, there's string in here. Look at that. Hey, string. You're in charge of the string. We've left ourselves no building room. That's ah, okay. It's kind of next to you. You can just like, pick it up and stop it. Is it. Uni doesn't need such a platform to push on. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, this is why you're the technic guy. Exactly. It is. Expert at this. Alright. It's always amazing to me how many Air Foils, like say they like have never owned a Technic set. Oh no, I've I owned one. Someone recently I was like, like, I've never bought a single Technic set. And there's like somebody who was like, I forget who it was, but someone really into Lego. And I was like, seriously, you've never had a single Technic set? Like any? Yeah. I have some really great old people. As someone watching this hopefully will know that was them. I don't know who it was, but whoever that was, push the comment on this. Exactly. So Technic's also really useful with building like system creation. You can build like a big framework inside something. Like in a lot of people who build like ships, like hundred style or longer ships, especially you, Simon. Um, we'll build like a technic framework inside, um, because it makes it like very, very rigid. You can build something large and rigid very quickly. Now, you just said something that we don't, well, I haven't talked about on Brick Break before. You said a hundred stud long ship. Yes. Uh, people may not know if you are not a builder or maybe you're just getting into building. Uh, you might say that your ship is, you know, whatever inches long. Incorrect. It's how many studs long it is. So all these beams are measured in studs. Like this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine studs long. So that's exactly like nine Lego studs, but as you can see, there's no actual studs on here. Instead, all the connections have like axles which go through, or different pins which you can click in. So there's like almost no studs in this. Can you find a single piece with studs in this set? A challenge. I can see one already. Well then, where? Oh. Uh, He doesn't have studs on it. That actually does not have studs, to be fair. Oh, like, well, here's, here's like one by one round. Yeah, stud. You can't, probably can't see it on the camera, but one stud. But, so there's almost no studs in this set. Oh, here, here, this, this piece will have. That's like a normal system piece right there. Ooh, six studs. What do they use that for in the set? Well, I guess mm. we'll find out. Oh, no, I know what this is for. Oh, it's the thing right there. Yeah. Oh, wow, I've never seen that part before. So this is a pretty new part. This has like a Technic axle one side and then two pins on the other. It's kind of like one of these, but with an axle at the back. Mm-hmm. But check out this piece, though. It's the opposite. It's got... Oh, I haven't it's seen that. The, I've never seen that before either. That's pretty cool. There's also this piece, which if anyone hasn't seen it, they should check out. So there's always been like the, it's like a two stud long tube connector. But now there's a one stud long one. So all it is is a cylinder. And the cool thing about that is you can put two studs stuck into the holes and connect it. Like kind of like 180 snot, I guess they call that. Which is studs not on top. Taking apart Technic is harder than building it. Well, oh, it is. It is brutal to take apart sometimes. I, th- I think you're over. Yeah. It, no, it is terrible. I, no, to take apart. Well, you were well to take apart all my Technic sets. I want to take oh, apart yeah? after the show. Okay, yeah. great. Excellent. And well, sort them. That would that's be called the, the D brick break. D brick break. That's right. This is very satisfying. Do you want to do this? It's very satisfying. Sure. Is that on? It's very satisfying. It's like, it's just something about it. I don't know. <laughs> We're weird. It's fine. We play with Lego. I'm hoping some of you play with Lego too. Play or build? I like the word play. Hmm. Do you like to play well? Play well. Yeah, that's right. Ha ha. See what I did there? I do see. Did do you will the viewers it? understand that joke? They may not. Should we explain? You should have probably explained. Oh, I need this one. I've already got that. So, 
Don't use my pen. I won't. So play well, the term play well, is actually what, I don't know how to pronounce, is it Lego? Le, legot. Legot or Legot. Go. I never know if it's... If you have any Danish God. viewers, they're going to be crying right now. I know, they're like, what are you doing? They just unsubscribe if they're Danish. No, don't. Just tell me how to say it properly. Um, it's either... So, Lego is a shortened version of the words Lego. L-E-G G. space G-O-D-T. So, so Lego. Le I always thought it was like goat. Goat? I don't know. No, Le it's not goat. goat. Not goat. Do we have goats goat. on the mind? <laughs> Only prize winning goods. Only prize winning goods. So it's kind of a smashed little version of that to lay, go, play well. See? Yeah. And that's obviously like you just said Danish. And apparently, um, I'm assuming this is true in Latin, it also, Lego also stands for like to assemble or to put together, which is kind of like an ironic double meaning. I did not know that. Which is very appropriate for Lego, but I think that was not intentional. I didn't know that one. Apparently, yeah. This is going to be a satisfying click. Do it. Am I doing this? Wait, let's just look at how floppy it is right now. It's kind of floppy. A little bit floppy. Hopefully by the end we'll have it. Hopefully it won't be as floppy when we're done. Exactly. Um, okay, so so change through. your way of saying what I was trying to say. Okay, so that goes through there. You see this? That goes through there. That goes up. And you push this together. Like that is a good click. You That's should do the other one later. Perhaps I will. You also don't want to click it. Like, you want to make sure everything's kind of the right place. See, that's really hard to get back to part, I suspect. And Why should we build that for you? This is not reflecting good on my trying to sell the Technic to the, to the viewers. <laughs> you know, you're yawning over here. So why is Technic good? You can, you can make steering mechanisms, you can make things with shocks. You can make all the stuff move. Like, like a, I mean, some systems just have like little like play features, but like, like this whole thing, you can steer it, but check this out. How did I do that? Like this. Like it's going to have a little dump truck at the end. Oh, that's a dump truck? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's yeah. dumping out the snow, huh? Oh, yeah, it's supposed to run the snow, that's right. Make fun of me. I knew that I was testing you the whole time. Oh, you were testing me. Yeah. It's absolutely true. But anyway, like you can build all sorts of cool like mechanisms and stuff. Like this could easily be inside a system like shell. Absolutely. And you can have all sorts of things that happen, which makes your system cooler. That's true. Two for twice the fun. Mm -hmm. See, she's making something that isn't fun, but this is actually a really great time. I'm having the best time, John. Best time, exactly. I'm in Canada. How can I not be having a great time? Eh? Eh? She even got to eat Tim Hortons this morning. Got to eat Tim Hortons that has excellent bagels. Mm -hmm. On your recommendation, I had a coffee bun. I would in fact say hashtag John was right with the bagel. You gonna tell the viewers about hashtag John is right? Well, when John is right, John gets a hashtag John was right. And how often is John right? Occasionally. Well, so far about things in Canada, almost a hundred percent. Hashtag John was right. This video better get hashtag. You <laughs> post it. I didn't tell him about Coffee Crisp. That's an attraction for Burkhan. <laughs> It's almost, it's like a dense Kit Kat, but with, you know, coffee flavor, coffee flavored Kit Kat. 
Well, it's yeah, but it's not a shape. It's like a like a. Like a it's larger than a Kit Kat. Like really. a block. It's so. It's like block. a coffee like wafer like Kit Kat inside with the same chocolate coating. Yeah. But just better. It's better flavor. It's really good. It's like it's slightly denser than a Kit Kat. Yeah. But I don't think we have those in the United States. So. <laughs> you never heard of them. I've never heard of them, and I buy a lot. Of, yeah, I buy and eat a lot of candy. So I'm guessing we don't have them. But now I have to look. Maybe we import them somewhere, like some specialty shop. But that's another good reason that people should go to Brick Can. That's right. So What's you gonna tell can? them about Brick Can? I can, unless you would like. You can to. tell them about Brick Can. You were oh, the one wearing the Brick Can shirt. Brick. And I will tell them about Brick Soleil. Oh good. So Brick Can is uh, the a first time, and it will be annual, right? It will be annual. It's first it's time the first in, like first Lego convention in like Vancouver area, like. Western Canada. Well, Western Canada. There, there's some other smaller events around, but it's the first one in Western Canada. So. Like, all of us go to BrickCon, and we're sort of emulating what BrickCon does, so we're BrickCan um, up here I like in what you said. What did Lee say? It's like oh. BrickCon with more A. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> that made me laugh. It's still making me laugh. You know, I came up with it. Oh, you did? I did. Well, Lee, of all Lee the puns that Lee comes up with, I know. I, 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 that was of all the puns, I came up with that one. BrickCon with more A. Good job on that one. I was pretty proud. So it's an AFOL convention, as well as you will have uh, things on display for the public to come see and do yeah. and vendors for people to come buy things, and you can get your tickets soon, I hope. Yeah, so in the next month, it's, it's BrickCan.com, and we'll be opening up ticket sales for AFOLs like you and I, who can register. Um, you can already book the hotel, which is at the River Rock Casino. Just is it called in Richmond, which is right beside Vancouver. There's a SkyTrain from the airport driving up from like Seattle or anywhere in Washington State. It's very very easy to get to. We have a great room rate at the hotel. In fact, you were actually at the hotel I yesterday. Was. I was about to say the cool thing, like you guys were talking about how you can take the SkyTrain in from the airport. Yeah. It you don't have to even like go outside. Like you just get off the train. And you're, it, it's like a it's like a four minute train ride from the airport right to the venue. It's like nothing. It's so close. So convenient. So what do you think of the menu? Uh, it looks really awesome, and I'm very excited about Brick Can for many reasons. One of them being, it's April, what's the first day technically? Uh, 21st, 21st to 24th. 25th. That 24th. Oh, fourth. So that's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Thursday being the best day. Well, yeah, Thursday and Friday are kind of like the setup days, if Wells there. For the public to come just to see the display, it's Saturday and Sunday. Right? But Thursday's the best day of the convention because it's my birthday. That's right. <laughs> So I expect many Lego cakes to be built. A coffee <laughs> crisp cake. <gasps> Wait, I might take a coffee crisp cake. That would be. That's amazing. one of the other selling features to come to Brick Can is coffee That's crisp. Amazing. Oh, I thought it was my birthday. Well, to buy you coffee crisp. Yes, exactly. Oh, but it's gonna be really good time. Inside out, slightly. And like you were saying, it's uh, it's extremely close to actual Vancouver. Yeah, so the SkyTrain, you get on from the airport, mm -hmm. and it's like a four-minute trip or something like that. It's like three stops to the venue. Then if you get back on the SkyTrain, in, I think it's four stops from there, like another, like, five minutes, you actually get to Oak Ridge Mall, which is the Lego store, which we went to today. We did. And so you get off to the Lego store, all that. Um, and then if you get back on the SkyTrain and go for another maybe, like, ten minutes, you get right to the waterfront, which is downtown Vancouver, where there's, like, all the restaurants and places like that you want to go visit and there's like the little bit torch there in Canada Place and, and all that taxi. stuff. The, the Aqua Taxi. <laughs> you explain the Aqua Taxi? Well we couldn't find an Aqua Taxi so we ended up taking a sea bus. <laughs> Does Andrew watch this? Will he understand? I have no idea. <laughs> well you better make him watch that section. So Andrew called it an Aqua Taxi I think and John was like, what is an aqua taxi? And I'm like, I think whatever the boat is that takes you over. And he's like, that's a sea bus. It is a sea bus. Is the... But I kind of like aqua taxi. Aqua taxi does sound pretty cool. It sounds more like... I'm, I'm a little mistake was made that I'm fixing. Oh, really? Because so, I haven't been building... Distract them. People talking I about haven't been building them. much in this one, so I wonder if you'll make a mistake. Yeah. The technic guy. So, 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 so what else about Vancouver? It's oh, yes. Cool. What else about Vancouver? So, of course, there's actually been quite a lot of good food. There's a lot to do. Lots of, um, if you're bringing the family, there's a lot of other things to do around the area. There was that uh, science world? Yeah, there's the science world. Um, yeah, and then there's the space, space center. Space center. I get the two confused. Science yeah. world and space center. And then there's the aquarium. The aquarium's really, really good. And lots of yeah. beautiful parks and, like, lots of stuff to do up here. So one thing we're hoping a? people who come, A, 
come to Brick Can is to stay for like the the room rate. If you go to the the website and book a hotel, if you phone the hotel, you can book the same room rate, which is way cheaper than what you normally pay. Yeah, it's for, like under half or like yeah, half. It's three days before and three days after you get the same room rate if you call them. Make a little vacation of yeah. it. Like we already know, like, I think we have one person with the hotel for seven days. Fantastic. So oh, we're ho- we we're gonna hopefully plan some activities for especially Wednesday and Monday. The days which usually people will be arriving and all that. We're going to have some activities then. Cool. Um, so, so we really want people to come and visit Vancouver. Because like you go to BrickCon or any event like that, so many people are like, oh, I want to go to Canada, I want to go to Vancouver, etc. But they just never have. So now there's a good excuse to, to come play with Lego and see Vancouver. True. Uh, hashtag John was right. Mm-hmm. And then there's Bricks LA. Hey, Bricks LA. What's that? So it's this Lego convention. It'll be its second second one in January. January eighth through tenth. Eighth through tenth. Yeah. That's right. I'm impressed. So that's in the Pasadena Convention Center. In and Pasadena, I, California. Exactly, and I will be there in attendance for sure. I'm very excited because not I didn't get to go last year. It's not my birthday, unfortunately. We'll get you a cake anyway. Um, <laughs> so I've been told I might be the only Canadian there. So you, some other Canadians watching this, better come and make Sign sure up. I'm not myself. Just us there. You're a Canadian. Oh, you don't want to be the only Canadian? I don't know. I like it you have to represent the whole world. I have to represent the entire country all by myself. So I, I encourage anyone else watching this who's Canadian, you should come. It's actually going to be really fun. I don't know. Like, January is always questionable, but the weather should be really nice. It'll be you know, better it'll than be better Vancouver than, in January. It'll be better than pretty much anywhere. Yes. Because it's California. So it's going to be super fun. We're going to have a big party on Saturday night. A big April party. Uh, we have... We have. I think we have thirteen thousand square feet of public space for displaying walls and vendors, and we're gonna have a whole bunch of vendors, and we're gonna have public days on Saturday, Sunday, and we have Friday as the move-in day. And you also have a hotel day. lined up too for the event. We do also have a hotel. Thank you, John. Yeah. Uh, we do have a hotel uh, signed up. It's the Hilton Pasadena or Pasadena Hilton, whichever way they prefer, and we have a pretty good rate over there. So. Come check it out. So how far is it from the hotel it's to like the block and a half. So it's block and a half. So once it gets very and close. The the like block the most the, like most of that distance is walk because the convention center takes up a whole block. Right. Oh, because there's like three or four different buildings. Right. Yeah, I mean, so like yeah. that's kind of the length. That's okay. Most of the walk is walking from one right. end of that block right. to the other. That's really like the River Rock is. It's all yeah. in the same building, but it's actually quite a large it's, thing. It's so if you have a hotel exactly. on the other side, it's actually a quite it a long. It feels like a long walk, but it's exactly. not. But it's, yeah, exactly. It's you actually all at the place. Exactly. Um, what else are we gonna do there? We're gonna have uh, a bunch of activities and the different games. games. For the games I really like the games. They're a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, I'm excited. We have a couple new ones. That have been tested and will be retested. And we'll have a couple new ones at Brick Can as well, so with a Canadian, yes. Canadian twist, theme. a Canadian yes, exactly. flair. We've been play testing some of them. Some of them. Are... So even if you've been to one AFOL convention uh, as an AFOL or even as a an attendee, a public attendee, uh, there's still a little bit of a different flair to every convention. A couple different games, you know, different people that show up, different styles of building, different themes. Sometimes, even though there's kind of the standard themes. You might get different. Well, yeah, there's always like space and castle and town and those core mm-hmm. ones. But then there's some more more unusual ones, very like niche ones. And often like one person will be building that and then the next year everyone's like, oh, that was like a really cool scenes. theme. Yeah, exactly, like screen scenes. And so it's often like one or two builders and like suddenly there's like a whole table of mocks the next year because everyone likes it. Viewers? 20 is way too big. I need far less than that. Oh, would you like to try it on, John? Could probably just, yeah. See, it's kind of like a forearm bracelet at this point. 
Yeah. It's called a bracer. It's called a bracer, isn't it? Like archers' yeah, receipts yeah. or something? Yeah. Uh, if They're you make it like longer. Yeah, you can put like several of them. Yeah. It's more manly. Much more manly, yes. So, I think those seem like legitimate parts that I've left over. That seems like about right. And a this small looks kind of like that. With no stickers. <laughs> what do you think? I think it Did we do it, everyone? It goes like that. Yeah, something like that. The first Brick Break Technic set. So, check this out, yeah, though. We got a huge one. For so some it things. steers. Do you see that? It steers. Kind of mm -hmm. cool. And if you throw, I think it's this way. That's really cool. Yeah, check this out. The, the, the dumps of oh, the... Oh. Snow with back. Or whatever else you want to put Well, I guess you can actually look at this. So you can go like this, turn this here, and maybe how would we do this? Look, um, can you bring this up any higher? No, that's what it's hard. Oh, I guess you can go like this. Lower that oh, down. Yeah. There you go. You can unhook it. Then you could lift this back up. Then you could go like this, and then do that. We have dropped whatever this is. It's a canister of snow? I'm not quite sure. Why did they put the snow in canisters? And of course then the rope also goes up. It's toxic down. snow. It's just like this is kind of weird because it like doesn't quite come up high enough to really drop it in there. Yeah. Like if, if I go like this, that like that's as high as it goes, but it goes really low. I guess you can swing off the ground with it, I suppose. Maybe we both are really? <laughs> yeah, like it goes Oh, maybe I'm supposed to have that up one higher. No, it shows four. One, two, yeah, that's the right place. Hmm. Hmm. You could always fit it. I could always make them maybe higher to make go up higher. Yeah. But it seems like it's kind of low, but... I don't know. But, as you can see, this is why they call it Technic. Because look how Technic is. All this stuff that happens. And, if you keep on going in the instructions here, there's Ooh. an alternate build out all these instructions. But it actually shows you, you can take some stuff off. And then you can put, I think it's lights and a motor. Yeah, you can put lights in the motor. So what it would does do... does not come with the set. No, but it would make it them. so these front lights would light up. And I think for the motorizing here, it would make it... Yeah, so all it would do is motorize the bucket tipping and this thing. It would motorize what you can do by hand. But yeah, yeah. So if you get the um, the power functions set, so let's see what set is that. I think it's a kit you buy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 8293 motorized functions. It comes with all the parts you would need to do that and then just instructions to do. Cool. Also, because all Technic sets always have alternate models, and there should be... Is there not? Wait, you just told me all. Uh, well, they sets. used to. I thought that they did. But maybe I'm um, crazy. Huh, maybe not. Usually there's instructions on an alternate model to build. Well, you know what you could do. You build your own thing? Exactly. Oh, yeah, there, there it is. Oh, well, <laughs> that's okay. Um, we'll fix it after. You could build a trapped pickup truck instead. Um, what? It's a pickup truck with tracks. Sure, why not? And is that what thing? is that? That's a satellite, Ra satellite robot. Thing? Yeah. So if you go to the website, they'll get instructions to build that out of all these parts. But that's also pretty cool. Uh, yeah. You gonna take a part and build that now? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm not hungry or anything. No, okay. So. Technic. Technic is You're awesome. You're welcome to start with a smaller set. Oh, it also, hang on, hang on. Oh, you also get suspension too. So it, it can kind of lean side to side and go up and down like this. It's all suspension. Kind of it is neat. It has a lot of playability. Yeah. Oh, and also the, I think the door is open. Yeah, see the, the door is open? Yeah, the steel wheel in here and everything? If you put the stickers on, there'd be like a dashboard with some like dials and like an oil gauge and stuff, but you don't want those. No. Nobody wants the stickers. No. So yeah. There we go. Done and done. We did we it. Go. We did it. 12 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, it was like 12 minutes, like 30 seconds, so. Right. I mean, there's no speed no. winning for no, that, no, no. but okay, we were having fun. Yeah. So thank you for building with me, John. Well, thank Even you for having me. really did the building. Oh, a little bit of it. <laughs> well, thanks for coming to Canada and visiting. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Uh, but you guys, I would like to know: Are you building Technic? What are your favorite? I guess Technic's the theme. I always think oh, it yeah, is like totally built Like all the great ball contraption is like mostly Technic. Which Great is ball thing. contraption, what's that? Yeah, so there's like, I think soccer balls. Soccer balls. Is that what they use, soccer balls? Or are they barnacle balls? 
Oh, no, yeah, software. Yeah, there's like sphere pieces, and yeah. it's kind of like modules. Everyone builds like a, a certain type of module that all stacks beside each other. It's kind of like a Rube Goldberg machine where there's all different mechanisms to like, take the ball from here and deposit it over there into the next module. Some of them go like, up to the ceiling and stuff. It's, it's all like really mechanical, technic stuff. I like the way you describe it because you're like, deposit in the next module. For me, I would describe <laughs> it as a really cool like thing, like motorized thing, and it makes the balls like go up With sometimes, some rigid, and some like gadgets. goes down, and then like brrr, balls go over here, and then you're like, what? It does what? not actually make that noise. Uh, it might. That one at BrickCon several years ago. Are you going to build like, one that makes that noise? It was always like, it yeah. sounded like the price was right. It sounds some of them really cool, and also a lot of people will like build Technic inside, especially like model team type sets. Like there's some of those like, they actually kind of like the sets that. Mm -hmm. But it's usually larger, and then the outside is entirely in that system. So it, you don't even know there's anything inside until it's like moved. You know, right. Like, oh, right. It's technically yeah. inside. So this is fun. If you haven't built a technic set, you should try it. You don't have to start with one this large. Uh, let us know what you're building. I'm very interested. Let us know if you're going to any conventions like Brick Can or Brick LA. Because we'll be both. Exactly. Yay! Um, anything else you'd like to add, John? I think that's about it. I think you should tell everybody where they can find you online, both for BrickCan and personally. Okay, so BrickCan is BrickCan.com. Mm -hmm. It was like pretty easy to remember. So easy. Um, like I said, like registration for like April Wells, like us, and our, should be opening in the next like few weeks. And even people that haven't been before yeah. that they want to get involved. Yeah, but all the information's on there right now. And then sometime before Christmas, we should be selling public attendee passes. Excellent. Like sort of public like uh, visitor passes. Yeah, yeah, like come on in. Exactly. Just like kind of like, like see like an art expo or something. Just yeah. come see everything and the vendors. Buy things from the vendors. Exactly. Buy things from the vendors. So There's brick, a lot brick of brick com. cool like unique parts that like third party parts that you can't get other. Yeah, you also find like old sets that you might never yes. see before that have been retired for like twenty years kind of thing. Like mm -hmm. pretty much everything Lego related you can imagine will really be there. And then myself, my username online is J one A three L five. It's hard to remember. That's a lot of numbers. It numbers. is. It is. It is hard to remember. But on Flickr. Yes. Is the main place. Yes. So actually, if you look up Flickr and John Langrish, J O H N Langrish. Um, Did you just spell John? People put J O N <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Sorry. They all do that. And it really annoys me. That that really bothers me actually. I don't think I know anybody. Oh no, I do know somebody that spells John J O N. Well, uh, like a lot of people do that. So, do they? Yeah. I really only know J O H Ns. Well, fairly Californian spell the correct way. Yeah, I, um, no, no, I'm in California. Oh, no, 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 no,
This is why people don't build Technic. I can <laughs> Now she's so frustrated, she's just like throwing pieces everywhere. On the floor. I don't want to build this anymore. <laughs> this is why people don't build Technic. See, I'm so smiling. See this, see this smile? Yeah, you're, you're smiling at my frustration. Is that what you're smiling at? Yeah. <laughs> Only a 10-year-old can do it. Well, I clearly need a 10-year-old to help me then. <laughs>